Hello all. In most of our applications, we generally use power transistors, right? So these power transistors, uh, so commonly if you talk about uh, uh, a power transistor, which is basically a MOSFET configuration, um, there will be source, drain and gate, correct? Uh, so th this is the basic symbol. So now, if you see this configuration, uh, the first pin is called the gate here the third pin is called the source the source is coming from the top if you see here and then there is a drain so drain is nothing but the tab that means if you see this package if you try to analyze this package uh, so um, there will be a lead frame here so the the drain actually is connected to this uh, um, and uh, um, the major source of dissipation is happening from drain so this is the common configuration we all know uh, where you take any mosfet um, the the drain will be the uh, bigger uh, uh, pad uh, if you consider this as a um, uh, consider a footprint of this and then you will have pins to solder to um, gate and uh, source <coughs> now uh, one uh, innovation which uh, Infineon has come up uh, uh, in the recent times uh, is what they are uh, talking is Optimus uh, um, from their Optimus uh, uh, series um, they <coughs> are calling it something called uh, source down power MOSFET where here in this in the previous one what we have seen is drain is down here and it has a bigger pad and uh, that that is the main uh, so um, if the um, power has to dissipate it has to flow from uh, the source towards the drain and uh, um, because you have the bigger pad there now <coughs> Uh, but some uh, but actually what happens is when the when the actual dissipation happens uh, um, the the source should be able to dissipate power as well in in some of the applications because the, the current goes uh, uh, through the source to the ground in some of the applications where you need a bigger pad uh, so now in these scenarios considering all these scenarios uh, mm, Infineon has come up with uh, um, a implementation called source down power MOSFETs where the lead frame is closer to the source terminal than the drain terminal. So that means uh, uh, if you see this uh, arrangement here, um, this is a simple uh, chip what they are saying. Uh, um, this bigger pad will be the source and this smaller pad will be the drain and this is the gate so <coughs> now what happens is uh, source has the more uh, uh, surface area that is occupied over the PCB um, and uh, now because of this configuration what uh, um, Infineon claims is that uh, the RDS on uh, of the MOSFET could be reduced by um, 30 percent what they are uh, um, considering uh, in this, in this uh, source down uh, uh, configuration uh, than the drain down configuration which is commonly used. So 30% uh, uh, is huge actually and then um, the junction to case uh, uh, thermal resistance uh, uh, is also improved by this particular uh, um, configuration is what is claimed by them. So. In this also, they are claiming two configurations. Uh, one is called the standard gate, and uh, um, the uh, another one which we are showing here is called uh, uh, the center gate. So standard gate and the center gate, these are two different uh, configurations available in this Optimus configuration. So right now, uh, they um, are delivering this uh, uh, source down uh, configurations at a low voltages and uh, over a period of time they will be expanding it to uh, higher voltages. So now 
what difference it makes to a designer so that's the major uh, question here uh, what hap um, where does this scenario help me so for this we will take another infineon chip uh, which is a bridge uh, uh, driver half bridge driver so half bridge driver here um, so basically uh, is used as a mosfet drivers uh, uh, in some of the applications uh, <coughs> where th this is the driver which drives the mosfets mosfet bridge here and this mosfet bridge will be connected to a load as shown here you can see here uh, this uh, uh, is an n-channel mosfet and this is another n-channel mosfet mm, and if you see the configuration this is a drain and this is a source so uh, now uh, the source of the first MOSFET is connected. Uh, this is called high side MOSFET and this get the low side MOSFET. These the technologies we know. Now uh, the high side MOSFET source is connected to the um, low side drain um, uh, MOSFETs low side drain. So now here um, one uh, configuration which is possible here is uh, uh, basically we can consider uh, um, this uh, as the major source of supply so that means you will when you are uh, layouting your boat uh, as a PCB layout you know that you should have a bigger uh, um, copper plane here and then also uh, they, there is some plane that is required um, between these MOSFETs uh, <coughs> But again this could be lesser because uh, uh, both turning on at the same time is uh, very less so either uh, the, the uh, current would be passing through this copper plane to load or from load uh, to the lower side MOSFET so that means uh, um, a, a portion of this would be uh, a copper plane and this uh, generally uh, is uh, laid out uh, <coughs> to optimize the uh, PCB uh, space so now here because this is a bigger plane uh, and uh, this is a drain here uh, a, a, a drain down uh, configuration can be used whereas here if you see source should need more copper because the entire current that is coming here should sink to the ground so um, here a source down uh, configuration would work uh, and uh, um, a center gate configuration where gate comes close to this uh, particular gate because uh, um, the drive could uh, should be um, close to this chipset right so um, it will be a, a common uh, <coughs> a center gate configuration that can be used in this scenario so this is a simple scenario which explains where uh, the need of uh, drain down and a source down comes here so now let us assume a scenario where we are using only drain down so drain down during uh, in both the cases of high side and low side in this scenario what happens is when you use a drain down scenario here uh, so here you will have a plane um, at the source you will you will have a small plane here but here there will be a bigger plane for this drain again because uh, uh, it's a drain down configuration and you will have a bigger uh, thermal pad for that uh, MOSFET uh, and then um, the source uh, terminal is a smaller one and you should have you should lay out a uh, bigger uh, um, copper here so now for a PCB layout engineer if you think from his perspective uh, using uh, a source down and a drain down configuration this scenario is much simple compared to using uh, a um, two drain down uh, and channel MOSFETs used here as we commonly use in our application so this advantage and one application where uh, you find this uh, <coughs> source down uh, uh, power MOSFET configuration so that this the, these were the two which we were uh, talking we this is called a standard gate footprint and this is the source term where uh, the gate is here and this is the source terminal uh, which has a bigger pad and this is the drain terminal um, and again this is called the center gate where the gate comes between uh, uh, the drain and the source and source has the bigger pad and uh, <coughs> this uh, is a uh, drain terminal so here this is called the drain down footprint where drain has a bigger footprint uh, and source 
and the gate uh, are uh, um, restricted to a smaller pins so the, this is the difference you see here um, and uh, there, there are there are some good notes uh, from Infineon mentioned in their uh, uh, website where you can go through and understand what is actually happening um, but uh, a lot of innovations happening and uh, uh, this uh, uh, we might not have used uh, uh, till now in our application uh, check out for more announcements from Infineon on this perspective thank you